Good morning, guys. I am Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 15. And my littlest guy, he is two months old and he is getting prepared for a large VSD surgery. Um, it's kind of overwhelming. Yeah, it's a big deal. But at the same time, given his condition without the surgery, then um, he wouldn't be able to yeah, so the good news is, is that his liver enzymes, amazingly enough, his liver enzymes have gone when we first went a month ago, when we first came to Children's, his liver enzymes were all the way up to 28. At one point, they were at 36. Those numbers are like crazy. Um, so four days ago, they were at 2.8. And I know they've come down since then. I just didn't ask last time. Just, I know he's on the downtrend is what was discussed at that point. That's amazing. I feel like the Lord just did that and blessed us. And they told us um, when they were so high that it probably would take a long time for it to actually go down. So I feel super, super blessed with this. He has gained a little bit of weight. I don't know the weight offhand, to be honest with you. He... I think he's around six pounds yeah so I think he's just under six pounds we're almost at the six pound mark which for him is huge it is very difficult to have a baby with a large VSD as large as his to actually gain weight so he started off at 415 and then he gained a lot of wa but weight but it was all water weight so um, he was retaining a ton of fluid they have managed and balanced that out um, now he was he's on full feeds they've upped his feeds a little bit he also is getting lipids and my breast milk gets mixed in with other stuff and he gets formula and um yeah so he's getting all the things that he needs to nutritionally wise we're hoping that once his surgery goes well that he'll be able to um, gain some weight. It is very nerve-wracking. This morning I got the phone call. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I got the phone call this morning because I am not there at the moment. I'm going to be going in a little bit um, and needing approval and stuff for all the anesthesia. Um, it has, the surgery is going to happen on Monday. So they changed from Tuesday to Monday recently <laughs> actually they told me probably tuesday and then it was in the books for monday so the plan is for monday it seems like that is actually going to happen because i've had lots of like releases of whatever and all the fun stuff that goes ahead of time um it's such a weird feeling like you know that if he doesn't have the surgery he's unable to survive at the same time it's a massive surgery he will need to be on a um like bypass machine that's gonna pump his heart his heart will be stopped and um yeah really hard it's hard not to hold him on a daily basis i'm hoping the nurse that i have today said i may get a chance to hold him um it just takes more people because he's critical airway. Yeah, I like to be able to hold him before. He's strong. But we all know that this is all in the Lord's hands. I get a lot of comments, I delete a lot of comments that say that it's crazy that I even put my son through this. And honestly, it's really hard and it makes me want to stop updates for him. Um, people have said really cruel things about how I'm trying to use my son to make money on YouTube. If you guys wanna know, honestly, any money that we're making on YouTube is going towards our extra cost of housing. So we can be here with him to support him. 
and to cherish him no matter how long the Lord gives us. I know most of you guys know that and most of you are a huge support. But it is challenging sometimes to read through comments and sometimes you might notice that I go through comments and I really want to read them and then some days, um, especially lately, I just haven't and or I'll just do for a little bit. I mean, it could take me hours to go through comments to be honest with you guys. Um, and if I get quite a few negative ones in a row, sometimes that's challenging emotionally. And so I just stop reading comments. Um, and then I'll go back to them at a later point because most of you guys are so supportive. And I feel so cherished and I feel so... Um, I feel so blessed that you guys are like praying for us and praying for my son and praying for my family and just i feel so blessed by that and for those who are like not christians and you but you're still here like to support us and just have us in your thoughts and we really appreciate that we really really do and i can feel that um so i appreciate that every day that i have you guys and that's one of the reasons that i keep sharing and also if I'm praying for a family, I like to know how I can best be praying for them. You guys now know that he has a surgery, so you can best be praying for us, like, around the surgery, you know? And that's such a blessing for our family. So, I try to update you guys, but sometimes it can be challenging, um, given those comments. Because some people just come on here just to be hateful and spiteful. And I mean, I think it's silly to like go on to a large family's channel just to tell them they shouldn't have a large family. That's just kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah. One day at a time. That's one of my favorite songs. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Like, I'm only, we're not promised tomorrow. We're not even promised the rest of the day. But I feel so blessed to be able to have this time. So I guess... I will update you as the surgery goes on. I guess this is like a pre-op type of update. So his surgery is for Monday. I'm sure they'll probably be doing some things on Sunday to get him prepped. They have to do like the special wash and that type of stuff. We will um, then be down in the cardiac unit for a while during his recovery. And then I guess brought back up to the regular NICU. So I will, I don't know, I might make a little note like on the community page just when they start the surgery. Um, so you guys know that if at all possible, I will try to do that. Um, and then I will update you in some form or another after the surgery is done, even if it's just like a quick note. Um, so you guys know. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's all. I guess it's kind of like reflecting, rambling, whatever. I'm excited to go back to the hospital and just see him. Um, if I'm able to hold him, I might share a little bit of that at the end of this video, but I don't know if I will or won't be able to. So we shall see. Hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day and thank you so much for supporting and praying for us. So new day, we went back to the aquarium a couple days later with some different children and we saw some really cool things. So I thought that I would add them to this video. I was just gonna have this one video as um, the aquarium like feeding days. But when we went back the next time, they were doing a whole seal show. And I thought that maybe you guys or your children might enjoy to see that. So I'm gonna include that into the end of the video here. So guys, that's about it for the aquarium videos. I hope that you enjoyed. So I want to really encourage you if you are a homeschooling mom that you might want to like get a pass to a local museum or local aquarium or zoo because even if you keep going back to the same place over and over, they still and you can still learn so much stuff. So on this day, we ended up using going on the tea and that video is going to be coming up because that was quite an adventure guys um but back here safe and sound <laughs> i'll just leave it at that it was quite an adventure 
yeah so i hope you guys can check out that video which will be coming out soon and yeah i hope you have a wonderful great wonderful blessed day i'm actually here we did a little amazon delivery type thing and they said it's here